Rector Seal Pro Fit Quick Connect fittings right here. These are just push to connect refrigerant joints. Requires no brazing. Really, these are probably about the most simple thing that you could use. Actually, let's just, let's just get inside of here. So they've got these little like teeth on the inside that grip the pipe. And then you can see there's some gaskets in there. I don't know if you're actually gonna be able to see that, but yeah, like, so you, you jam the pipe up in there and then it creates a seal. So it says right on them that they are rated. You said on here. So 870 PSI. Any HVAC system has a high pressure switch, usually around like, I, I don't know. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one over 700. So, but I've seen several above 500. I think most of the high pressure switches on systems are around 550, 600, but I could be wrong on that. They're really simple to use. Just wanna do a little demonstration here. We got this pipe right here. We're just gonna deburr it. That's the only prep you really need to do. So, boom. We have this tool they sell. They sell a support kit. Highly recommend you get it. It comes with two things. It comes with the tools for removing them, these things, and it comes with a depth marker. So, what you're gonna wanna do so you take your pipe, shove it into your depth marker, and then you're gonna wanna mark it. Usually we use a marker, but in this case, we'll just see if we can mark it. Yeah, see, we got a little line right there. And so then you literally just take your pipe and you just shove it, shove it on here. So look, we are not to that mark yet. Sometimes you gotta shove these pretty hard. Oh, Boom, it. <laughs> there we go. They've changed these, these used to be plastic and I would've, said more negative things about them but this rim right here around the edge used to be plastic but now it's metal so uh if anything the quality on these has improved since we've been using them if we do a little bit of a cost analysis on these joints versus brazing depending on the situation you could do either or we're not planning on converting to these primarily because in my mind at least this is a joint that will eventually fail and if you do a braze properly then that thing i mean we see systems here that are 60 years old and haven't leaked an ounce of refrigerant because everything was brazed really really well whereas this joint it does have a gasket in it which theoretically could fail now is the lifespan on this 10 years 20 years 40 years we can't really say because this is a newer technology so we'd rather not install these on every single joint and then have issues and have all of our customers have issues. But if we if we look at it from a cost perspective for for a contractor, the the prep on this is about what to prep both sides of your joints for two for both lines. Boom boom. You're looking at five minutes, ten minutes maybe. Like to go get your tools, bring them out deeper shove the pipe in if you're grazing you gotta get your tools so so you gotta go grab your torch set bring it out set, set up your night grab your nitrogen set it up i know in some areas like the guys have the whole cart that they bring out but in it for us that's not a always a feasible thing like we're not, not gonna get a cart back here we've got concrete that most of the homes in san diego are like this where we have to lug everything by hand to certain places and sometimes we gotta lug stuff up onto a roof of like a condo complex or something so for one joint we'd be looking at like it's gonna take us maybe an hour if we're grazing and if we're doing this the whole thing takes us 10 minutes and so these joints cost us two, two these two joints cost us about 40 bucks together and but they save us like probably an hour, maybe, on average for a job. If uh, if you're grazing, your your cost on it is going to be what like ten bucks for the grazing for two joints. We always have to pressure test to make sure yeah. that that's not leaking. <laughs> we do it. You do have to pressure test these, but yeah, I'm just saying brazing. It's like sometimes you'll have to do yeah, it over like three times. Yeah, you have to re-braze sometimes. Yeah, sometimes like if you mess up, you braze once then oftentimes it's really hard to actually get it to seal the second go around. And so, yeah, I mean, these things, when they have been useful, have saved us a lot of work and time. If you're a homeowner and you're installing your own system, this is a great alternative to grazing. If you're an HVAC contractor and you're wondering if these things work, we've never had one leak, except for one time we had one leak, 
and because we didn't get the pipe all the way in. The only times that we've ever had them leak was, due to our, was one time due to our own user error. And yeah, I, you should definitely get the support kit because they don't always shove in as far as you think. Sometimes you have to really, really shove them in there. Sometimes they slide in as easily as you saw this one do. In different sizes for three, four, and seven eighths. Yeah, so they do sell, they sell all the way up to seven eighths connectors, but they sell a, a separate support kit for the seven eighths and three quarter inch pipe. So this, this little depth marker goes up to five eighths, quarter inch to five eighths. And then this thing right here, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but this is a seven eighths one. Here's our three quarter inch one right here. So these two are sold separately. A support kit up to five eighths is like, uh, I, I think 18 bucks. The support kit for these two pieces is 14 bucks or something. So that's these, not a bad product. Are we gonna do them all the time? No, do we do them sometimes? Yeah, do we recommend them? If you need them, yes, they're good. So, bam. So we are doing our pressure test. This is actually the next day from when we shot this video, but we had 159.5 right now, 0.6. Do we have bubbles on these? There's one bubble right there. That's not growing though. As you can see, it does not appear to be leaking. So um, we'll get this a little bit higher so we can see that it does hold at higher pressures too. Drop All right, so 351.9. That, that that's our gauge right there hooked up or point five we just added this so it might drop a little bit as it equalizes to the other side but but we got bubbles on here same bubbles as before there's no nothing forming here these are holding strong like i said we have never had an issue with these things not holding pressure except when we didn't follow the guidelines for installing them and that was one time and we kind of knew we weren't following it we were doing it inside of a soffit and so anyway yeah not a bad alternative to brazing but not necessarily something you want to do on every single joint so i want to add maybe some thoughts on these things very easy to use definitely simplify something that's otherwise a somewhat laborious task if you're doing one braze on a system then sometimes it can save you a lot of trouble but if you've got multiple brazes going on in multiple locations then it's probably easier and more cost efficient if you know how to braze and have the tools to do it to just go ahead and braze it's not worth spending all this extra money on these joints but in our in this particular systems case it was kind of a toss-up on which one would have been better because the system itself we just flared the connections but then our line set didn't reach since the line set didn't reach we needed to extend it like five feet so that joint right there we would have had to pull out torches and go ahead and torch for one connection like honest to god the it's almost unfortunate how reliable these joints are because if you prep it all properly they really don't leak it makes it so that anybody could install an HVAC system. They also make the same joints for attaching to the system itself. So instead of flaring, you just shove the pipe into the joint and then screw it on. Yeah, it definitely dumbs down. It takes a skill or something that's a skill and makes it very, something that you have to learn and really practice a little bit and it makes it, it simplifies it a lot. If you're an HVAC guy and you're in a pinch and you're wondering if these things work they do they definitely work the only problem that i have with these also is uh yeah the i'm not i'm not talking about 10 turn 10 year reliability i'm talking like 20 to 40 year reliability they're somewhat of an untested thing so i don't want to put eight of these on a system and then in 12 years 15 years 20 years they're all leaking what the other way you got to think about this is if you put a bunch of these on a system and they all have and they start to leak in 20 years i mean they're not serviceable joints brazes you can 
weld a leak shut on these things they got to get swapped out they'll probably have to replace the filter dryer because they're gonna have to open up the system and so then you have to braze anyway overall it's like i would say it's a good technology that we'll use sparingly 